What's up y'all? So today we're doing cooking with the Jacksons. So if you have not had our infamous cheesecake, today we are going to show you guys how we make our creation. So we got our graham cracker crust, seasoned with special spices and butter. Just start off with the crust, no big deal. Now, when we first started doing our cheesecakes, we were, we were buying the graham crackers and smashing them up ourselves. Well, we found out that um, they actually sell graham cracker crumbs. Let me show you what it's like. I don't show them because they ain't paying them. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to show y'all because they're not paying them. But... <laughs> You can buy the actual graham cracker crumb instead of actually like smash up the graham cracker. This saves a lot of time. So right now, Wesley is mixing the graham cracker crumbs with our special ingredients that we put in there. Like one of the ingredients is butter. Everyone knows that. So the point of that is so you can get the crumbs to stick together, I would say. Yeah, it's how they stick together, literally. Yeah, that. So they can stick together. And then once he's done with that, obviously you're supposed to taste your stuff, so that's what he's doing. You will place it inside of the cheesecake pan. So. So while he's doing that, I can tell you some of the ingredients that we use. I mean, I can tell you the ingredients, but that doesn't mean it's going to taste like ours. So I can tell you. So you use um, eggs, sugar, Cream cheese, graham cracker crumbs, uh, cornstarch, sour cream, and uh, what is that? Vanilla? Yeah. Vanilla. So right now he's smashing up the um, crust and putting it in place so that way we can make the make the cheesecake. When we start this. So we use the little spoon thing, but we also use our hands to make sure that it's evenly spaced out. So when you put the cheesecake on top of it, it is. Did you even wash your hands? Are your hands clean? Cleaning this is next to God. Did you wash your hands? Yes, my hands are washed. If you want me to wash my hands again, I can wash my yeah, hands again. Yeah, please. You see how people do? Like it be your own people. So. Well, I'm about to eat this. You about to get me to it. So if you, if you know, if you're paying attention to our background, then you would know that our kitchen is empty. That's because we're moving. So, that's that. We're moving in a couple of days, actually. But well, we're making a cheesecake for um, one of our friends' events, so. before I pack it in but again like I said I want to make sure it's all even so it looks like this but I'm going to pack it in a little bit more make sure it's all even around the around the uh, edges of it so cream cheese is already in it's only one topic I will name drop this if you make your cheesecake without Philadelphia it's not real cheesecake it don't taste nasty that's pretty much guaranteed. So, okay. do not skip on the Philadelphia. And if any any of these Instagram cooks or Instagram chefs are using that generic cream cheese, and y'all still buy the cheesecake? Did we use the generic last time when it was bad? Nope. So we've made, I'm not going to lie, we've made a cheesecake and it was bad because the, um, one of our cheesecake pans was leaking. So like the water from the pan, because you have to put water in the pan, was leaking into the cheesecake. So it's like water, the crust was watery. So we're going to organize the rest of these ingredients real quick. I'm 
And like I said, we're moving, so th this is not. We would, I would not have done this cheesecake if we were not going to one of our special friends' houses. He not a friend anymore. He family. They family. So we're going to watch. Isn't it a fight tonight or something? Mm -hmm. Who's fighting? Steve Miocic, the heavyweight champion of the world. He's also a firefighter. Is he? Yep. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. So now I'm done making it even. How long does it go in the oven, honey? Until it gets crispy. Okay. So it's going to go in the oven until it gets crispy. We have the oven on 350. So it'll go in there until it gets crispy and a little darker. Speaking of ovens, firefighter over here. I almost burnt the house down because he put, he turned the wrong eye on and a, um, one of the cutting boards was on the stove and it dang near, it met the cutting board of course and then the eye has all this plastic on it now. That's why when you learn fire safety, they tell you not to leave stuff on your stove. That's why. <laughs> so, this is the second time I was around when he almost burnt something up. Last time was what? The cabin trip for your birthday? That was me. You and Rob, two firefighters, freaking almost burnt down the cabin in Georgia. Cause they, cause somebody left something on the eye. And they didn't, they didn't, for them to be firefighters, they didn't smell the smoke, nothing. So, so right now we have the cream cheese, the eggs and the sugar. All right, so we're going to beat the cream cheese. So the thing about beating the cream cheese is that first, it, 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 it is softened. I do want a stand mixer, but when you're using a hand mixer, be careful not to splatter. Then you say you wanted that, um, the kitchen aid, you want the, the stand mm -hmm. So I did see one that he said he wanted, but since we're moving, I didn't get it for him. All right, so now we add the eggs one at a time. So she's gonna add the eggs. Let me move this out of the way. She's gonna add the eggs while I'm beating the cream cheese. So we're gonna go five eggs. Did 
Those are so fancy. I think those are so cute. I told him to save it for decoration, but he used them. So we're going to use, what am I sparing? So we're going to use two cups of sour cream, which actually is this whole container. But I'm going to measure it out for y'all. So we got one. So before we started making cheesecakes, I had no idea sour cream went in cheesecakes. I was like, what the freak? But it does, and it's pretty good. Actually, it wasn't a lot of things. Of course, the pound cake. Oh, you know what I mean? So the reason she don't know this, because she's not from the South. When you're from the South, you know that sour cream goes in a whole lot. You Just can't. like sugar goes in a whole lot, like spaghetti, grits, no, we don't. all that stuff. Like all. The, the people from down south don't put the sugar in. Like I do not like spaghetti that does not have sugar in it. I do not like grits that don't have sugar in it. That's the that's the down south thing. I'm from the Midwest, and that's what we do. That's crazy. Can you bring that up real quick? So I do need this again, so I'm gonna wash it real quick. All right, I'm gonna just rinse it. It's all going to the same place. He normally doesn't let me blend, so I get excited when he feels generous. I'm normally like the get them, girl. Go, go with that. Go with that. Add that. I don't get the mix, the fun stuff. Yeah, she don't need to be cooking. I have started cooking more lately. And you like millennials, I cook. She started cooking more because she's trying to get buns more. Buns? What does buns got to do with me cooking? <clears throat> I'm going to get buns when I wasn't cooking. Mm. Exactly. Cardi B all day. Don't <laughs> cook, don't clean. I'm going to tell you how I got this brain. Hey. Whatever she said, ain't the word, but she said something like she don't cook or clean, but she got a ring. You ain't Cardi B. Nope. Exactly. All right, so here is the key. So generally speaking, anytime you're baking, you add wet to dry, right? So you separate the two and you combine them all at the end. So we need a cup and a half of sugar. Now... Our sugar, and this is the key, this is the magic ingredient, is we use white sugar. So we need a cup and a half of sugar. And we're gonna add a little bit more than a cup and a half, but we add it's how we how we measure the sugar out. So we got a couple. So we got a cup of white, which that's something called golden. It's allegedly less processed, so it's not all it's not all the way bleached. It's probably like half bleach. And we also got a half a cup of brown, which is our not so secret, no longer secret, used to be secret, right? So normally when you make cheesecakes, normally, normally when you make bake anything, or generally not anything, but cheesecakes, use all white sugar. So yeah, show me when you're packing it down. Now, when you measure a brown sugar, you pack it down. And we use a, we use more than a cup and a half because in baking, brown sugar is not as sweet. All right. So we... I'm actually going to use a, a cup and... Uh, what is that? Three quarters? Of sugar. So I'm kind of blocking his view, so I'm gonna come show you. So this is a cup, right? That's a half a cup. Okay, so this is the half a cup of the brown that we we're talking about. This is the cup of regular. Oh no, not regular. It's the golden sugar that he said is less processed. Oh, 
All right, so we also need some cornstarch. How much cornstarch? Say our, our normal recipe uses two tablespoons, but I think I'm gonna cut the cornstarch down a little bit and add our extra secret ingredient, which is baking powder. And that's gonna get it real high, real so fluffy, crazy. and real light. All right, so we're gonna add take this out. So we're gonna use our spade from here on out and I'll mix while she adds my sugar. Let me just make sure I got the mind bounce right. Oh, should we forgot the butter? Did you already add the butter? Mm-hmm. What was in that pot you had? Hmm? What was in that pot that you put in here? Oh, I might mess up. Ooh, bad okay. So we do need we do need our things again. We got something on, but it's alright. Okay. So we use sweet cream butter. That's what butter is made with. I'm just telling him to tell him the name. Like all butter is made with. Okay, whatever. Sweet cream butter. Um if you use any bread, I would say, you know, I don't I'm not a label person. He is a label person. He cares all about labels. I don't That's how my food tastes better. My spaghetti better than his. Oh, snap. His spaghetti is nasty. I can't, I don't like Western spaghetti. I don't dislike a lot of his food, but spaghetti is more I can't. That's just a sugar I'm going with spaghetti. I can't. So. We're gonna finish this up and we'll be back. So we're almost done. Our mix is complete. Show them the mix. It'd probably be better if I would have just. Hold on. I'm gonna bring the phone to the mix. So, this is what it looks like after all the ingredients I put in it. All the ingredients, who put in it? All the ingredients. I put the ingredients in there. What is she saying? So, this is what it looks like. So, now what Wesley's doing is wrapping the pan. Oh, that's what I was talking about, y'all. He destroyed my soul. So this is actually probably the most important part. So <clears throat> you don't necessarily have to bake yours in a water bath, but when you want that that fluffy cheesecake factory where it's nice and tall and it's not super, super thick and dense. Now that's a good cheesecake. My brother makes a cheesecake like that and they're, they're really good, but that's not how we make ours. So when you want that nice, fluffy, nice, tall, beautiful cheesecake, you, you got to bake it in a water bath. And sometimes, like we said earlier, the spring forms will leak. We got about 10 of them. I don't know where they all are. But this one, I like this one because it's a little bit taller. So you got to cover it. You got to cover it. And all I'm trying to do is make sure that we can get a continuous seal around it. It does not have to be pretty, but as long as it's up, up so no water can get into it. Because there's a, there's a couple of secret ingredients well, we done told them almost all of our secrets. 
It's all right, ain't no secrets. Still ain't gonna taste the same. <laughs> all right. So we got it up. Nice and secure. It's not, it's not Look how brown leaves. the crust is, guys. Right, so it's brown, it's nice and crunchy. This one, this crumb, so if we would have added more butter, it would got real thick and dense and been like a cracker. That's normally how we make it. This one is going to be real beautiful and crumbly because I'm not going to lie, it's for our friends and we like them. So we're going to make it real nice and elegant for them. So we're just going, all we're going to do is literally pour this in there. So this pan is actually a little bit warm. It's supposed to make it a... Uh, is it supposed to be cool? Yeah, it's supposed like to be room cool. temperature or something like that? But I'm going to take an extra step. And I don't have any pan. I don't have any pan. So I'm gonna just. Uh huh. We do. Shout out to your beautiful wife. We got Pam. Damn. All right. So I'm gonna pan the sides of the container. The only reason they make it cheesecake easier to come off. Now, normally when you're baking, they always tell you use butter, use butter, use butter. The difference is butter browns. And I don't want the sides to be brown. I want that side to be nice and creamy. So I'm gonna use pan. And all it does is make it easy for that spring form pan to come off. That's it. So now we'll just pour into there. Just like that. Now here's the real key. You don't go all the way to the top. Cause it's gonna rise a little bit. Oh, we have enough to make another cheesecake. Don't you think? So you want to leave? Do that right there. Clean up, mess. Clean up your mess, guys. Clean up your mess. Like all this mess, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna clean that up. Somebody's gonna clean it up. It just ain't gonna. I eat me, cause I hate mess. Every time he cooks, he leaves a freaking mess. All right, so you don't go all the way to the top. So, and notice there's no flour, no none that, no yeast, no none of that in there. But those eggs, and in our case, the baking soda is gonna make it rise. So we're not gonna go all the way to the top. I do want to add a little bit more in there. Now that's a fine line, because it'll probably mushroom over, but it'll be all right. Actually, I just told you guys about the water bath. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get us a water bath. So literally, all it is is water. Now how much water are they supposed to put? So, As long, generally speaking, as long as it's sitting in water, it'll be fine. But mind you, the more water you have, the longer it takes to cook. And we're trying to be done, you know, we're not trying to take all day. But you also don't want to rush it either because the middle may not be finished. Open the oven. Yes, ma'am. All right. So anytime you're baking, Anything like that, you go middle rack. All right, now cheesecake, you eat everything, all black people cook everything at 350. All right, cheesecake, you bake at a little bit lower temperature, but our main secret is we're going to start high for real, 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 excuse me, low amount of time, and then we're going to bring it back down about 325. That's it. Oh, nice. Free me getting the first slice. Yeah. I was telling you about the new side, but that was out. New side, new side. Bree, shout out to you with the oh, black on it. Hold up. What? Bree, you can't see my way there, man. What are you talking about? Good. You brought me some new side. I'm at the bus stop, but they was out. I'm wondering where you going. You cut pretty good. I'm at my destination. Hey, Bree, what time is it? What time is it, Bree? What time is it? You doing all right? Please excuse the loud people. My bad, because I'm loud as hell. You are. My bad, I'm sorry, no, I ain't. <laughs> I ain't for a knife right now. 
Now, Frim, you take the first piece and taste it. And tell us how it. Tell us how. You already know. From the bottom of my heart, I miss it. Oh, Frim, you got to get drunk. No, how the fuck I ain't. Why not? I don't know about that. Stop using loud curse words. They're kids. I'm not using loud curse words. I heard profanity. I am a child. He's so dramatic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You like it? Yeah, y'all can have that. I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs>